All right, after some careful consideration, I've decided we're going to go ahead and rip what I have left of the Otis stuff. Uh, interestingly, our odds here, I didn't notice this before, the odds are so incredibly stacked against us right now. For the Hair Relic, 1 in 3,500 packs. Cut Auto, 1 in 10,000 packs. Okay, so if you missed last time, quick explanation, you get 5 packs plus a silver. The silver has some uh, parallels. However, any pack could contain our hair sample and cut auto. So let's get excited and try to find one. And a lot of these, we're probably just going to go through kind of quick. I saw, well, maybe you didn't see. Okay. So let's see if we pull any cards that we hadn't seen before. I don't know why I just put an, a D on the end of that. Opening Japan to trade. And we did see that. Overseas Diplomacy, we saw that. Cuban Missile, we saw it. FDR, saw it. Garfield, saw it. Ooh, John Quincy Adams, we did not see that. Theodore Roosevelt, I. it wasn't that card. It was a different card that we saw. War of 1812, we saw. Zach Taylor, that's a new one. Ben Harrison, nice. So already, I'm happy with the decision to rip and clean off some space on the shelf. We've already found some new things. Grover Cleveland. Clayton Bulwer Treaty. Remember that? Yeah, we saw that one. Well, it was yesterday for me. It's probably going to be a while before you get to see this video. League of Nations, NASA, Herbert Hoover, Rutherford B. Hayes, The Barbary War, Louisiana Purchase. That's a new one. That's a nice card, too. Most of them don't have like a good color profile to them. I also don't like about these cards how, like, every one, because of this stupid thing, the design makes it look like they're off centered. Or even these, like, when in the listings, it doesn't look like the card is intact. Something looks wrong. Anyway, let's continue on. Library of Congress. We haven't seen that. James K. Polk. That's a new one. Grover Cleveland. Right, let's see what it says. How tall was he? 5'11". Huh. Interesting. March is a very important day for him. That's also interesting. Month, I suppose. Chester A. Arthur on the back. Whenever I... Here, Chester A. Arthur. I always think of uh, Die Hard with Vengeance. James Monroe. Oh, no national debt. <laughs> Imagine that. What are we at like now? $450 trillion? Andrew Jackson's goals as president has been to eliminate the debt. Ulysses S. Grant. 15th Amendment. We saw that. Six-star general. Oh, let's get it closer so you can enjoy it, too. That's also interesting right here. Ten, ten dudes have had five-star. So G-Dub, they gave him a sixth after he passed. Living grandson, we saw that yesterday. I can't remember who, which one. It pops up all the time. John Tyler. Comes up on TV all the time. Mexican-American War. Removal of the White House stables, we saw that. Great Society for some Monroe Doctrine. Yeah, we saw that's another that. Nan, remember, you know Nan. Bill Hank Harrison, talk too much. Chester A. Arthur. So once again, nothing exciting. And I guess that's the uh, unfortunate part, specifically when you're getting non-sports cards, because the things that aren't your favorite team or favorite player are really far off. Pendleton Civil, Service Reform, we saw that. Trust Buster, that's the one I was trying to think of before. Purple Heart, we saw that one. I like it. First gay president. James Garfield, first impeachment. Washington's political party, that's a new one. Teapot Dome, first president born in the United States. If you didn't see the last episode, it is Martin Van Buren, number eight. And the interstate highway system, which is attributed to Ike. Anyway, somewhere where you're passing through Kansas, there's a sign that says it's the first uh, section of the interstate highway system. And if I remember correctly, Ike is from Kansas. Correct me in, down below. Was it birthplace or resting place? Maybe childhood home? Uh, a lot of the presidents have several. Nobel Peace Prize. That's interesting. G-Dub once again. Well, this is a new one. First president to lose popular vote and win the election. Okay. That looks familiar. Is that Buchanan? Andrew Jackson, 
John Quincy Adams. Hmm. You would think with really like the only pictures of these people ever made, I should be able to remember them. Another Louisiana, Louisiana purchase, another Nan. Trail of Tears, we saw that yesterday two times. Is enough for any man or woman. Another FDR with the New Deal. Great Railroad Strike of 1877. That's a new one. White House Stables. Military Service. Herbert Hoover. Rutherford B. Hayes. John Tyler. Warren Harding. Public Speaking. Or that had something to do with uh, Thomas Jefferson. Living Grandson again. And the New Deal again. So just like yesterday, we're seeing a lot of doubles there are some cards which are very common so now in the two blasters that i've previously opened i saw one george washington in these two we've seen one george washington but then other cards we've seen like 10 of compromise of 1877 trust buster that pops up a lot almost shot by secret service no dash nah, nah no national debt there's gonna be a lot of editing for this short video william henry harrison woody holly smooth tariff Annexation of Texas, that's a new one. And building the U.S. Navy, we saw a bunch of those. This pack feels a little different. The other packs had a little bit of a curve, but it's not thinner. So that gives it away. And there might be. Hold on. There's something in the middle. Let's find out. Latin and Greek? Who would that be? Because Van Buren was Dutch for his language. James Garfield. Williams College in Massachusetts. Interesting. League of Nations. Can you imagine any president now even being bilingual, let alone trilingual, to the point that they can teach that stuff? Like, we really, we have a problem compared to what we used to have. League of Nations, John Adams, Harry Truman, Ostend Manifesto again, another Barbary War, and then Baines, Zach Taylor, another atom bomb. All right, one regular pack to go, and then these two, which I'm pretty sure there will be no cut autos in those, unless it's an alloy cut auto. I don't know how much better that would be, but straight up a George Washington cut auto would make this my last video. First civil rights president, mm, Rutherford B. Hayes, James Garfield. Hmm. Oh, and my bad. I just realized I've been holding those off the screen. There was nothing cool on that one anyway. First pitch, I do like this one. That's pretty cool. And somehow the one that I had yesterday, I uh, misplaced. So Taft threw it out at the Senators game. And I was complaining that they didn't say the Senators were playing. Oh, nice. Our second, George Washington. Our 18th, Frank Roosevelt. James Garfield. 15th Amendment. Calvin Cool, Library of Congress. Which, for the disappointing aspect of this entire set, that's a pretty cool picture. The card, though, fresh out of the pack. That's not too bad. James K. Polk and two times is enough. Okay, so that's that. Let's get into these silver packs real quick. And once again, these, uh, pretty much all of the cards you saw today, any of the ones that you might want, will be on eBay, and my store link is down below. So go check that out. Fingers crossed. What do we have? Ike on the back. You, you know, even with the uh, the numbered ones yesterday, I didn't get cool number ones. Like, nobody wants this card regular. Nobody wants, okay, nobody wants that one. Sarah Polk, maybe. Ike, I mean, that's, yeah, that's nicer. Might even grade that. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. And I really hope, yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked the entire shelf. There's no more. Are you kidding me? There's that. There's that. So let's set that there. James Monroe, shiny. Oh, good. Another Sarah Polk. Like, straight up. Straight up, dude. The set sucks enough, but this is how low their quality assurance is. We're just going to put the two of the exact same cards into a, a four card pack. Absolutely pathetic. Don't buy these, they absolutely suck. And I'm convinced that every autograph and piece of hair is already out there. Just buy those on eBay or don't buy them at all. But uh, if you do want, <laughs> what a sales pitch, right? If you do want some of these cards, go check out the link in the description.
All right, so that's going to do it. If uh, you're looking for any of these cards, mostly the president cards will be listed. Um, most of these little trivia cards, I looked at it like none recently sold, and each one has about 20 listings already. So if you want these, they're on eBay. They just won't find them through my link, and that's that's fine. It's honestly not worth the effort to list these all when nobody's been buying them to begin with. So that's that. If you want to leave a comment down below, please do so. Uh, include a joke or don't include a joke. These are like the first words I used all day, so my brain is skipping all over the place. But the good news for you, it's over now, and here comes the end card. Peace.